you know, scouting cameras or something, as I've said time and time again, they're ingrained in my DNA ever since the original 35 millimeter cameras that you took down and got developed and half your photos were black and the others were no jumping in the air because it's freaked out by the flash. But my how technology has changed to the point that we use apps now to, you know, from cameras that can send everything immediately to us and really allows us to be able to enjoy a hunting experience all year long for me. And when I get asked questions or I see different uh, social media groups and they're talking about different things, the first thing I say is, man, a lot of the data is right here on the box for what a guy needs. This particular model is gonna tell you the, the networks that it's gonna work on. This one's a dual network, Verizon and AT&T. So if you uh, know what your cell phone coverage is at a specific spot, it's gonna help you you know, pick to make sure you're getting the right one. This one actually has on-demand, uh, you know, images and videos, so you can be watching your app and you can tell it to see what's going on right there in front of you. It tells you some of the plans, it tells you the range. I think the range is really important uh, for a lot of different hunters out there, knowing if you're putting it in a tight confines or wide open areas as far as what the trigger is going to pick up the movement. The trigger speed is another one that's really important on the on the box. Tells you how fast it's going to you know trigger something walks into the frame or, or comes into the frame and you know as you get to the back it even it'll it'll start telling you more and more information there and so that you can pick the best model that's going to work for this setup that you've got because it's important to understand those features when you're picking the you know the model that's going to work for you into the field. When it comes to setting up a scouting camera, I mean, they're so easy to set these cameras up today. You basically can take these out of the out of the box and we'll cut to the, the quick things, you know, that I'm doing. Obviously, you're going to screw on your antenna super fast, super easy. I like to use lithium batteries for these. A lot of guys have now gone to uh, solar chargers or they've gone to bigger lithium batteries and they're running cables out of them. A lot of that I believe depends on your particular usage, how many photos that you're looking to, to get. If you're running instant and you're trying to take bursts of several pictures at a time, a, an accessory, the extra battery is going to really pay off for you a lot of times. If you're doing like once or twice a day, kind of semi off season stuff, uh, like I load a lot of my photos at 3 a.m. and 3 p.m. on some of my cameras. I can get, you know, and I'll, I'll have them take one photo about every 45 seconds, and that's still a lot where we're at, and I can get a good feeling for what's going on. A lot of times I can put my lithium batteries in and those. I can get a full month out of usage out of those. So it just depends on the exact setup that you're looking at doing. You know, your batteries are going to go here. You're going to scan this from a QR code and your app is going to basically load it. It's going to tell you the plans that are available. You'll be able to log it in and then immediately you're going to start getting uh, photos sent directly to your app on your phone that you can start watching and, and uh, enjoying. A quick little tip for a lot of people, memory cards are really important to the speed and also when you're setting these up, uh, having a memory card that is clean. I like mine pre-formatted. You can definitely format them through the app. I think a lot of times when your your uh, camera's not working, one of the things is you're having problems with your memory card. It's either not all the way in, uh, hasn't been formatted or cleared, or it's just not capable of handling uh, the setup that you've got. And, and so if you're having problems and you're not getting photos, be sure and check your memory card. The Stealth Cam Command Pro app, super easy to use. I mean, you can, you know, I've got tons of different cameras set up on mine through here. It gives me lots of data at all times. And I set mine up various um, situations. Some of them I may have instant, some of them I might have, like I said, sending twice a day. Some of them I may have sending a photo every five seconds, depending on where it is. Some of them I may have taking a photo every minute. So basically, all we're doing right here is add a new camera. Very simple, the QR code is right here on the camera itself. And we'll go back here. It's gonna add it to my account. It tells us that our carrier is activating as we're sitting here right now. I know the steps to a little bit get ahead, so we're gonna cheat. We're gonna go ahead and put our batteries in like that. We've already got our SD card in. 
it's going to tell you if you've got errors with your card. It's going to tell you you've got a weak signal. It's going to give you the opportunity to, to do a test by using the sync. So you can kind of go through everything right there and find out what you're looking for. And then once it, it the, everything turns green, you're going to be in a good shape. So right now we've got batteries. It's checking our wireless signal. And then it's going to check that our plan and everything is, is working and communicating. Then we're going to be ready to deploy it. And here, as you can see behind me, we've got a couple of uh, boss buck feeders out. We plowed this up and planted oats. We've got a corn feeder over here and we've got a muddy blind that we're going to be setting up over here. It's got a lot of, a lot of activity. There's a lot of deer, there's a lot of hogs, there's even some exotics coming through here. And we fenced this off basically to keep it cattle free. So this particular mount here is the Tipos mount that HME makes. It's a great little mount for places that have a lot of Tipos. And now obviously, you know, not every place you're going to want to put a scouting camera is going to have a Tipos. I actually drive them into a lot of places and mount them because they, they hold up so well. Uh, in this situation right here, I put it just below the top of, uh, of the T-post to try to give it a little bit of protection from cows wanting to come across the top and chew on the antenna because that does happen at times and it's just that easy to mount now i can also move it up and down like that i can come in and tighten it from the bottom to really give it a good secure um, placement so that it won't move because as we all know if we've done enough cameras in our life they have a tendency to move at times but with this mount here you can really lock it into place so as you look at this, depending on what model of camera that you like, no glow, slow, fast, on demand, you, you're looking at uh, a, just a traditional one without a cell plan. There's so many different options thanks to the Stealth Cam family of cameras.